What's up everybody, welcome back to the Cool Figures channel. If you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures. Analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. I try to upload new videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so check back on those days to see when I've uploaded, or just hit that bell icon to be notified when I do upload new videos. If by the end of this video you do find yourself enjoying it, please remember to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It is a very small goal of mine to reach at least one new subscriber per video. So please be that one new subscriber and thank you so much in advance. Also, I am trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of this year. So please, please, please help me reach that goal of mine and be a new subscriber. Thanks so much. As always, the information on the channel is for intended for adult collectors and not children. I am your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. And today, guys, I have for you the Spartan Collection Mark spartan mark 7 welcome back to halo week guys here we are with the second halo toy review of the week and it is of the red spartan mark 7 armor um this guy is very similar to the mark 5 with just a few slight detail changes um mainly the paint but also just slight details in the armor itself um such slight details that i'm not really going to go over it too much because like I said, it mainly has to deal with the paint scheme and very small, small detail changes like lines and um, little, very little lines basically. But overall, it is the same armor. I mean, the helmet up here is more Master Chief-like than the other one because the other one had it higher up and whatnot. But other than that, that's really going to be the only big change I talk about in these figures. So let's go ahead and dive right on in into what he comes with. So before I forget, like I almost did with the first one, um, let's go ahead and look at the hands he comes with. So he comes with a pair of gripping hands, which he is holding, which he is using right now to hold the shotgun. And he, as all the other uh, Halo figures, he comes with a very, uh, I call it an odd hand out because it's only for one hand. It's not, they don't include one for either side. Um, and it is another saluting style hand. Um, or you know move forward type of hand you could use it for a lot of different uh motions and whatnot and as the other just like the other spartans he comes with a pair of open hands and a pair of fisted hands as you can see right there all right so going ahead and taking a look at the accessories that this guy comes with oops so let's go ahead and address that first since it already popped out this little piece right here can either be inserted this way so that you have a peg facing out to attach the weapon right here in the peg hole or you could peg it into the leg where the peg hole is going into the to the figure so that you have a flat armor piece so first off he comes with this, um, I believe this is a Brute Blaster. Um, I haven't played Halo since Halo 3, so I'm not up to date with all the new weaponry, but this looks to me like it's one of the Brute weapons that the, you know, that the Brutes use um, in Halo 3, just a little more modified. So, you know, just upgraded throughout Halo 4, uh, Reach and all that. But he also comes with this shotgun um once again this is one of the newer shotguns i'm more familiar with the old school style halo shotgun i do happen to have my baggie of halo weapons right here so if i can go ahead and find the old school shotgun relative up oh, here it is i will show you a comparison so i'm more familiar with this version of the halo shotgun than this one uh, but i'm guessing this is one that they brought in in either halo 5 for or reach um, but either way it's a really cool shotgun really well detailed and really well done in my opinion really do like it the way it looks and whatnot with all the other ones it is a softer plastic so it does bend and stuff once again with the smaller weapons it's a little stiffer but you still get some bend so taking a closer look at this figure he is amazing I mean, look at it. He's almost a spitting image of Master Chief, just slightly different. You can tell this is the armor right before they got to the Master Chief armor. Um, but it is really cool. I love the weathering effects that they added, the little silver paint wash right there, as you can see. 
go ahead and spin him to the back so you take a look at his backside. See, it looks so much like Master Chief, just like a red version. Uh, so you can totally tell that this was, you know, the, the armor before Master Chief's armor. So going ahead and looking at his articulation, he can look that far down, he can look that far up, so pretty well. Uh, he does go all the way to the right, all the way to the left. You do get some head tilt. You, his arms do go all the way out to the side. You do get a double hinge elbow joint. You get our, uh, wrist rotation right there as well as wrist articulation there. Um, you do get slight elbow, or I mean elbow, waist twist, waist rotation right here. Um, very slight ab crunch. He can kick out that far. He can kick out that far. He can kick back that far. He does come with double hinge knees, but up. Oh, actually, this one's not stuck. So he does come with double hinge knees, as you can see right there. And then when we straighten him all out, his ankles go that far down, that far up, and you do get a ball ro ro um, ball joint rotation right there, as well as toe articulation, which this one is actually stiff, so I will show you on this one. Um, toe articulation right there, which is really actually um, useful when you're trying to pose these guys, you know, especially since they're so thick and heavy from their armor, um, that toe articulation really does come in handy. So I gotta hand it to Jazzy Wear for that one. Um, so let's go ahead, take this guy outside, take some really cool pics, and we'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those picks, you can find more over at Cool Figures on Instagram. And if you haven't already, please remember to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. As always, I am your host, Jesse the Bad Magical, aka the Buff Collector, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.